Epstein-Barr virus, and multiple sclerosis. Last week, I talked about EBV, a new study that came out of Stanford University connecting Epstein-Barr virus infection to multiple sclerosis. Researchers confirmed that approximately 25% of MS cases seem to be fairly directly due to antibodies to Epstein-Barr virus. The question of EBV being a causal factor for multiple sclerosis is not a new one. This has been discussed in the literature for a long time. Nonetheless, researchers have uh, delineated with a fair amount of certainty that this virus that many of us know to be associated with mononucleosis, but the reality is, is that uh, many people encounter this virus early in life without any symptoms. Nonetheless, most of us have been exposed to EBV by the time we're 30, but uh, this hyperactivation of the virus seems to be associated with so many autoimmune conditions, chronic fatigue syndrome, and now a quarter of cases of multiple sclerosis. Of course, researchers are looking for drug targets. On the holistic side, we look for ways to help the immune system try and corral this virus that many of us have been exposed to. Send me your thoughts and questions. Dr. Randall Gates, board certified chiropractic neurologist and chiropractic physician with Gates Brain Health and Advanced Imaging Reno. And one of the things we do at Advanced Imaging Reno is that we do brain scans where we actually look to quantify the number of lesions in the brain for individuals such as those who have MS. Just one of the ways we're different, trying to uh, be on the head of the curve. Have a great night, everyone.